How's it going? It's McKinnon Baxter. Welcome to the U of So. This is lesson 110. And uh, I want to talk today about how to use Facebook in business. And this is going to be sort of a um, high level kind of um, conversation about you know how how you want to use Facebook and how maybe you don't want to use Facebook in business. So uh, let me <clears throat> let me start by showing you this is one of my pages in Facebook. So now this is not um, this is not my personal profile page. This is McKinnon Baxter as a uh, a business uh, a consultant, you could say as a um, a public figure i think i actually set this up as a public figure yeah if you can you look right here set myself up as a public figure so if you're if you're doing you know training or consulting in a particular uh niche and an area of expertise this is what you'd want to do now on the contrary let me show you my personal page um now this is this is a page where uh, you can see here I have, you know, my latest post was a picture of my family. And, um, you know, this is going to be just personal stuff. And the point that I'm about to make here is that you do not want to mix personal with business and business with personal. Now, yes, you're going to make some business, you know, acquaintances who become closer friends and you know you may want to accept a friendship request from them or or send them a friendship request i mean either way but you you really never want to try to do business or sell your products or services or promote yourself as a consultant or anything like that on your personal page your personal profile page to your friends um, you, basically, the, the bottom line is your friends are just not going to appreciate it. Most people, uh, I would say 99% of the people who are on Facebook, it's just so they can, uh, you know, c uh, converse with their friends all around the country. They can share photos. They can, you know, say this is what I'm doing right now, which, you know, I'll get to that in a minute, it is probably one of the, the biggest time wasters that you can ever do. Um, but that's what people want to do. That's what people are using it for. It's a place to just showcase their life. And that's all they want to do. So if you come out with, hey, you know, you should buy this or, hey, you know, I'm trying to, you know, offer my services doing this, people are just, they don't like it. Okay, and they're, um, it's just it's just common knowledge that they're going to basically, I mean, it's, it's not too much unlike uh, approaching friends and family with an MLM business, multi-level marketing. Uh, anytime that you're gonna, that you're gonna promote business to your friends. I mean, imagine, just imagine this, if you, uh, let's say you have a restaurant or you have a clothing store uh, that you own and you contacted your friends and family, you know, on Facebook or otherwise and said, hey, um, you know, we're having a special today on, um, you know, enchiladas. Uh, you know, come on in and, and please have some enchiladas. Um, yeah, you might be you might be giving them a good deal. You might be telling them something that maybe they would want to hear. But most people don't want to eat your enchiladas. I'm sorry to say. Um, so you're better off just doing that kind of promotion to people who have already told you I like enchiladas, I like Mexican food, or I love your store, I want to be on your mailing list. Those are the people that you want to contact. Okay? Or you can go out there and you can, you know, you see all these ads over here and um, you can you can target people who Facebook is telling you they already like this sort of thing. Okay? So this sponsored ad, these you know, these guys, that they know that, you know, I'm just looking at what they're um, promoting here. They know that I've done something with Alaska Airlines recently. Okay, now that's pretty clever marketing that they're doing. But the fact of the matter is, is I recently got a ticket um, with Alaska Airlines. So that is um, 
excuse me, that is retargeting advertising. They, they know what I have been looking at. And that is smart advertising. But let me get back on, on point here. So if I go back to my international site, what you want to do is you want to create a business page for your business. Okay, I told a, a friend of mine, I've got a friend here, um, Al, uh, and um, I don't think he would mind me telling the story, so I'll just show you. He's an artist. He's an incredible artist. And he was, he was doing a lot of posting for his business. And I told him, I said, buddy, you really need to create a business page. So he finally did. And uh, just recently, he created this. Actually, that's not it. Hold on a second. He created, um, I think it's this one. No, that's not it either. Um, I don't think he's linked it here, but um, let me just try something here. I think this is it. Yeah. He just created this page and he's already got a thousand people that like the page. Now on this page, you can do all sorts of promotion for your business because all these people have said, hey, I like what you're doing. I'm interested in what you're doing. Okay, so that that is the point that, you know, you want to have separate pages. Now, let me get to the other point I want to make. Um, <clears throat> My personal page, I personally spend uh, maybe maybe 15, 20 minutes a day, uh, you know, maybe posting something like this, uh, going into my news feed here and saying, hey, I like this, I like that, you know, and just sort of staying in touch with my friends. You know, I'll go through here and, you know, um, uh, let's see. You know, I mean, <laughs> I will if if um, you know, I'll just I'll just kind of stay in touch with people like this, and and you can do you know like 15, 20 minutes of this a day, I think is is fine, but people are just getting very carried away and spending way too much time doing this. Okay, spending way too much time posting useless, time-wasting messages. And, you know, these guys are my friends. I want to always keep in touch with them and let them know that I support what they're doing. They're doing basically round-the-world trip on a sailboat and so forth. Um, you know, and, and just you want to just kind of every so often maybe say a little something to people. Um, and, and, and post a little comment just so you're not, you know, I mean, if you're going to be posting stuff and you want people to see it and respond in some way, then you kind of need to, you need to do a little bit, you need to give a little bit back, okay? But that being said, um, I'm going to talk a little bit more about time wasters in another video. And I can tell you right now, Facebook is number one. Uh, second right behind that would be, I would say, email, you know, checking your email way too often. Uh, you should try to set up, you know, uh, a couple times a day that you're checking email and maybe one time a day that you check into Facebook and you do a little, a little of this and a little of that. But, you know, as far as, um, as far as business goes, now I have, um, I have a lot of different groups that I've set up for business activities that I have. I have pages, as you just saw. So um, this is a group here where people can interact more. And then uh, pages, you know, the difference between a group and a page is that on a group, um, you can control who's in it and who's responding. And I believe everybody in the group, when, when someone posts up here everyone's going to get a notification of that unless they say that they don't want that with a page like my mckinnon baxter international um if i do if i do a post and someone 
likes this page, one of the 12,000 people likes the page, they will get this. Um, they will get this in their newsfeed. Okay, now they're not going to get an email um, or a message, I should say. Um, and I think with a group, people will get a message. So if you can set up a group, you have a little more control as far as the messages that you're sending out to people. Um, it's the difference between a news feed notification where basically you have to be scrolling down and looking at what you get or the feed is just going to keep getting pushed down further, further, and further. Okay, or you can get a message that goes right into uh, someone's, someone's message box, which is way better. Okay, so that's really just fundamentally, I said I wanted to talk and just kind of give um, sort of a high level overview of how to use Facebook in business. Make sure that you create a business page and the way to do that just go in here, go to um, go to help, well, and just say whatever you want, okay? Um, page, you know, and it's going to have it right here, how to create a page. All right, now also when I went in here, I see that you can just get it right there as well, okay? But you want to create a page, and if you want to create a group, same thing just go in here and go help and then just say group and uh how do i join a group how do i create a group there you go okay groups and pages are the two business facebook type pages that you want to create and stay away from business stuff on your personal page that's my best advice i speak to you from experience there was a period of time where i did some business stuff on my personal page and I really felt like it backfired on me and people just did not um, they didn't appreciate it okay um, there you go I hope that helps and I will talk to you on the next one bye bye